Hey my bikes, welcome back to the channel and welcome back any new watchers and subscribers. I am Rogue Marby Scott. <laughs> so in today's video I am going to be doing a um, last minute Halloween look. Covid is around and um, I am not an anti-vaxxer but I hate wearing masks. I really do. I mean I also have asthma so therefore me wearing masks is a bit of a challenge but this is a makeup tutorial and a Halloween look for you guys to be wearing a mask and it's a last minute Halloween look also it's super super easy oh my gosh this looks so weird that you actually can't see my mouth going around <laughs> and talking and this is a super super easy makeup tutorial for you guys who like to wear masks I actually dig the look of a mask just don't like having it on but um yeah let's show you what's underneath so this is what's underneath my mask and I'm going to show you how to achieve this look for a last minute Halloween look. I mean, a lot of people will probably ask you if you're going to a Halloween event and you're wearing a mask, especially in the UK because you don't need to be wearing a mask anywhere anymore because of blah, blah, blah. But if you do decide to be wearing a mask and people are like, why are you wearing a mask? Well, you'll be like, I have something to hide. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know that mask me is it even called that mask me mask acne is a situation this little bugger right now is a little bit intrusive getting on my nerves it's and I, I can feel it when i'm talking but these little maggots are cute. But I'm going to show you how to make everything very quickly. This is going to be a quick video. I promise. Well, I hope. Anyway, let's go on to the tutorial. So to start off this tutorial, put your face mask on and then get an eyeliner or something that you can sketch lightly onto your face and then just sketch out where you are going to, um, where you can basically see where the mask finishes. And then we're going to move on on how to make the um, maggots. So as you can see, I've got these liquid latex pieces on a sheet. So you can use the plate or whatever you have. And you're just going to basically allow the liquid latex to dry and once that's done you're going to peel them off and roll them um, up really tightly. Now I couldn't do that properly with one hand but yes I'm showing you with one hand. Then you're going to use a black marker or a um, permanent marker and just create these little maggot heads because maggots tend to have this black piece on them also. So I've also um, made my boils like this and how I made my boils was by um, I got some scar wax, turned it into like tiny little balls as you can see and then I just flattened them down on this plate. Now this plate has Vaseline on it, lips are dry, <laughs> um, just so that they don't stick onto the plate so we are going to just place those all around my bottom part of my mouth. Oh. Well, that don't make no sense, does it? We're just going to place them where my mask is going to be. So I'm just going to go in with some prosate onto my right side of my face first. I'm just going to put some spots of prosate, wait for them to dry, go over it maybe again, and then um, place on my little boils, pimples, whatever you want to call them. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry down, get tacky, and then I'll place on my little warts. Who's messaging me? And it doesn't actually take really long for it to dry, so I'm going to go in with my first piece here. So I've got my pieces onto my face and this is how I want it on this side. You can stop here if you only want 
spots, boils, pus, things, whatever, and blisters on your face. Um, but I am going to go and do my other side, but you can literally just stop here. So because I don't want any of that to move, I am now going to put some liquid latex on top and kind of seal its fate. It would have been easier to use a brush at this point, but if you want to save the life of your brushes, please don't use liquid latex on them. And allow that to dry before you put on your next layer. So I'm going to do a couple more layers. I might put ring tang. So as you can see, I've put some liquid latex underneath my beard area. And I'm just going to make like holes everywhere. Hmm. So that was fine. So now I'm just going to put some translucent powder onto that. I'm just not. I'm not, I'm not going to put too much. I'm just going to make sure that nothing sticks to itself and everything kind of stays in its place. And in the holes that I've created into my face, I'm going to go in with a dark, oh, it's a bit tacky there. I'll go in there later. Um, in these holes, I'm just going to go in with a, I'm just gonna go in with my actual eyebrow stuff that I'm, I was gonna use and just darken it up because I just want you guys to be able to use what you have already. If you're doing what I'm doing, I'm gonna say make sure don't just colour where you see your skin, go underneath it like that and push under so that the gradation or the darkness is seamless just in case. So now I'm just going to go in with my foundation all over my face because I'm, I, obviously I want to look like I'm wearing a face mask and then I come up like um Hello, this is what I look like underneath. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and do my foundation off of camera and I'll get back to you in a free and one. Okay, all done. Um, so I've put my makeup on, I've put my eyebrows on. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to start working on to these things that are making me feel sick right now. <laughs> making me feel really sick. Um, and I might put some eyeshadow on, I'm not too sure. Because I, I want to go kind of like how I I would go out. And yeah, I would put eyeshadow on. But I want to go on to a look where I would go out. So, going in with my Bruise Wheel from Maron. I'm going in with the shade, the colour Maze Yellow first. And I'm just going to concentrate that in the middles of these things <laughs> because they need to be yellow and then right after that we're gonna go into the red shade and I'm using the same brush just because I want you guys to be able to just use what you're use what you've got already and also not have to keep swapping and changing and stuff so around the yellow i'm going to place the red we're going to place more red afterwards but we do need to go a bit darker afterwards as well now i need to bring this in real close 
and now I need to blend in all of what I have just did I might need to place a little bit of red onto my brush so that I can get into the crevices can you see like you see crevices I need to get into there because that's just white and that's not natural and as you can see I'm not really painting on in a specific way I'm literally just kind of dotting it around and making sure that the colour adheres to everything and I am going over the yellows a little bit just because I want there to be this whole see right here I want that to be more speckled and where I've placed these like black holes onto my voice I'm just wiping over that with that red like really roughly and I don't want it to be neat initially I'm showing you guys how to do on one side let me just show you how to do on that side so around certain areas I'm just gonna place green just like really roughly and for the last step I'm just gonna go in with some black eyeshadow and just go around pushing underneath and over these little bumps we don't want them to just look flat we want them to look a little realistic because if you're going into a club <laughs> if you're going to a club with a face mask on especially for Halloween and they're like oh but where is your makeup where is your costume then this is going to look realistic and you're just going to be like I don't have a costume this is what I look like I'm sorry <laughs> So I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush that I used before to powder my face. That looks cute. And then I'm going to go in with um, Cosmic. Is it? Yeah, Cosmic from the Jodie Beauty Intergalactic Palette. And I'm just going to go over. You can you, you see where the yellow is. Just to give it that kind of sickly glow just yeah it's, it's just gonna look so So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out. <laughs> don't, don't forget to check out my Buffy the Vampire Slayer makeup tutorial. It's amazing. And there's also a giveaway. This is getting on my nerves. Uh, yep. Goodbye. We're going to recycle you. We're going to keep you, little maggot. <laughs> Bye.